what to the slave this is the fourth of july it's your favorite internet writer once more yet again and still jen harris with your woman in word that is now three days late but it kind of goes with kind of goes with the week bear with me but your woman in word for this week is actually going to be planning right i know we made it through last month of us talking about self-sabotage and what that looks like and how to and how to identify that so this month we're going to talk about how to counteract that how do you begin to put things in place to counteract that self-doubt, to counteract that self-sabotage? So one of those things is planning. When you have an idea in mind, no matter how big or how small, you need to begin to make time for how you're going to begin to put everything together. You will be amazed at how de-escalating it is for your anxiety, especially when you when you are trying to put together something that you may not be as confident about. Like if you're just used to doing short stories and you're now try trying to conquer your first novel, okay? It is essential that you begin to be gentle with yourself. Because if you try to attack everything all at once, you will get discouraged, you will get angry, and you won't finish, which is never, never the goal. So if you just put into place a few planning, um, a few planning things, just even something as small as I'm going to take 10 minutes to make my outline. I'm going to take five minutes and think about my character arc. I'm, take, I'm going to take five minutes and go ahead and go through Google. When you begin to plan out your project, you then come from a place of power and knowledge about what it is that you're trying to do and to create. So bear that in mind. You can do it. I believe in you. Happy writing.